Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So, uh, because I'm forgetful and uh, just am absolutely no good at all at remembering anything, um, I left for Ohio. Uh, so it's going to be, what, two days ago, something like that at this point, three days ago, yeah. Um, so just a, a short synopsis of this. Uh, went to Ohio, did a drop off, handled some other things, and came back. Uh, so y'all stay tuned. Uh, this is an e-waste drop-off that I did while I was there, and I'm going to show you what I can of it. But as I said, I'm forgetful and can't seem to remember to take my camera or take pictures with my phone. So here we go. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, so I think I've kind of redacted the, the important stuff here. I don't know. That might be a problem. Whatever. So, uh, this is my receipt. They gave me a, a printout of everything uh, all the way through that I turned in. Um, of course, you can see the total payout. 1415.58. Actual check. Good stuff. Okay. Um... So I can move that out the way. So date was uh 12 6 2022 uh, when they printed my receipt. This was at 8 38 a.m. Um, so we left, uh, me and uh, River Sticks or Tommy left on uh, 12 5. Uh, drove, I don't know what it take us, like maybe nine hours to get there. We left about 6 30 in the evening, had some time to sit around or whatever in the morning. Um, nap a little bit whatever until they opened they opened at 8 and at 8 38 they had me completely done checked out sent out out the door this is a full pickup truck load of course i had everything separated out real well there's a couple things they saw they fixed for me gave me some tips uh and everything else super great company um really enjoy working with them uh they make stuff as as easy as possible for everybody so it was total is 554 pounds and uh 554.29 whatever so almost 555 pounds is what i hauled up there uh needed to go to ohio anyway so i emailed chris at board sword i was like hey buddy Coming up there, I'll be there at 8 o'clock in the morning on such and such day, if that's okay for you. He e emailed me back. He says, I'll see you then. They told me where to back up. They got there. They were there before 8, and uh, they told me where to back up. They rolled the doors up, helped us unload uh, and sort everything and weigh everything right there with us. Went over, picked up the check and the receipt, and I was gone. So I'm going to run you all through all this. So you got metal socket server motherboards. It's $3 a pound. I had 10 pounds of them. That's 30 bucks. All right. So uh, those add up pretty quick. Large socket motherboards. Uh, weight. Oh, that's kind of funny how all that was moved over. Anyway, yeah. So that was $3. I had 10 pounds. Got 30 bucks. So large socket motherboards. They are showing $4.15 a pound. I had 38 pounds. That's $151.70. Large socket server motherboards at five fifty a pound. I had eighteen pounds and I turned out ninety nine dollars. Small plastic green P four boards are two fifteen a pound. I had fifty nine pounds of them. That was one hundred twenty six dollars eighty five cent. Newer AMD plastic socket motherboards uh, seventy cent a pound. I had seventeen pounds eleven dollars and ninety cent. Small plastic green P four boards. I had 25 pounds. They're paying $215 a pound. It's $53.75. Small plastic green P4 boards again at $215 a pound. That was 40 pounds. That was $86. Cent. Um, so I think I had a small, I had like three different groups of these. Uh, hard drive, no board. So I went ahead and threw my hard drives in there, all my big ones that I had sitting around taking up space. I pulled all the boards off all of them, my small hard drives, all of them. And he did tell me, he's like, if it's, um, 
non-SATA boards, take them off. If it's SATA, leave it on there. You make a little bit more taking them off if they're non-SATA with those pins. If it's SATA, he said, just leave it on there. Uh, you're losing money taking them off. So, um, but as I said, all mine were already stripped before I got up there. It's 35 cent a pound hard drive, no board. I had 30 pounds. That was a small box of them. Uh, Ten dollars and fifty cent tablets, fifty cent a pound. I had thirty-four pounds. That was seventeen dollars. It says foreign colored imported motherboards at a dollar a pound. I had twelve pounds. That was twelve dollars. Uh, same thing again. Foreign colored import motherboard, one dollar, three dollars a pound. That was three dollars. I'm sorry, one dollar at three pounds was three dollars. I had backplane expansion boards. I did find out a lot of those. Uh, so if it's got the, the strip on it, uh, you've got an option. You can either cut that, that gold finger off of it and drop it in a back, black, ooh, backplane expansion board at uh, $3.10 a pound. Or you can leave it on there and put it in with slot cards instead of it having to go in as a backplane. I believe that's what he said. So it's three dollars and ten cent a pound, five pounds. That was fifteen fifty. Connector ends, the gold connector ends, seventy five cent a pound. I had thirty pounds of it. That was twenty two dollars and fifty cent. Laptop motherboards. I had a couple of the sets of these with me. Four fifty a pound. I had seventy five pounds. That's three hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty cent. I had a huge tote full of those, just packed full. Um, Goldfinger cards, no fan, no heat sink, four sixty a pound, ten pounds. That's forty six dollars. CD floppy drives, um, CD and floppy drive, that's disk drives. I can't talk. Twenty five cent a pound. I had fifty four pounds. That was thirteen fifty. It was just a box off of my head. They those add up. The weight adds up quick. Hard drive boards showing twelve fifty a pound. I had just under three pounds, two point nine five. That was thirty six dollars and eighty eight cent. Uh, integrated CPU motherboards, fifty five cent a pound. I had two pounds of them. It was a dollar ten. Foreign colored import motherboards, a dollar a pound. I had one pound dollar. Low grade hard drive boards, I had six dollars a pound. They're paying six twenty eight a pound. That was thirty seven dollars and sixty eight cent. CD ROM boards four thirty a pound, seven point oh eight pounds. That was thirty dollars forty four cent. Goldfinger cards, no fan, no heat sink, and I believe that's the second time for that. Uh, four dollars and sixty cent a pound, one point six six pounds, seven dollars and sixty four cent. I had cell phone boards, uh, so just taking. Stuff that's given to me that's just destroyed. Uh, twenty six oh four. Uh, it was only like two and a half pounds or ten fifty. Uh, hard drive platters twenty five cent a pound, forty four pounds, eleven dollars. Um, my personal opinion: throw your hard drive platters if you're stripping them that far. Throw them into your aluminum, um, and take it to your local yard because aluminum's what thirty five forty cent a pound. You know so. You make more and you're not hauling it all the way up there. I just had it packed up. I was going up there anyway. I figured I'd take it. Um, but yeah, $11, $11 for 44 pounds. That's kind of not really worth anything there. Uh, silver 10 fingered RAM. So that's your RAM sticks. That's got the silver or 10 fingers on them instead of gold. They pay eight seventy five a pound. I had a half a pound. I got $4.38 for that. I had blank RAM, pay two dollars a pound. So that stuff is, um, it's just RAM sticks with gold fingers. There's no chips on it at all. I had a tenth of a pound, got twenty cent. Only had two of them. So uh, gold finger shielded RAM is seven seventy five a pound. Um, that's just leaving the shield on. It's not really worth taking them off at the prices right now. It's thirty eight point uh, three eight pounds. So almost four tenths of a pound or whatever two dollars and 95 cent so my gold fingered ram they're paying 1950 a pound i took 8.86 pounds and got 172 dollars and 77 cent and just so you know that's short little box and you know little square box is like three rungs deep so they add up pretty quick uh peripheral boards 
$2.40 a pound, 17 pounds, that was another $40.80. So again, total payout, $1,415.58. So even if I spent $400, which it took me a tank of gas to get there and a tank of gas to get back at about $170 a tank, so that's still less than $200 uh four hundred dollars so i still made a thousand dollars over a thousand dollars making that trip up there and back um if that's the only reason i went you know what i'm so so you know what i'm saying it's just it's still worth it uh but again that's like two years of me doing stuff and slowly um putting things together all right so i mean for a part-time gig, sitting around the house, uh, to me, it's relaxing. Uh, I enjoy taking my time, uh, taking things apart, um, tossing it in different boxes. It does take up a whole lot of space. Uh, scrapping is not for somebody who has no space at all. You do need to create some space for it. It takes up a lot of space. Uh, having to separate this type of wire, that type of wire, this board, that board, um, you know, it's not like you can throw all the motherboards into the same tote and take it up there. There's like six different types of motherboards, and you've got to have a different tote for each one. And then as it gets full, you got to take it and set it somewhere and get you another tote or something. Uh, but as I said, that was the back of my pickup truck. Uh, I'm going to guess there was maybe seven large totes. Uh, everything else I had in cardboard boxes. And uh, back of the truck wasn't completely full. But it was, uh, it was kind of getting there. Um, I could have squeezed a few more boxes in and stuff, but we were kind of in a rush. We wanted to hit the road. We wanted to have, you know, 12 hours or 14 hours to make a eight hour drive, take our time, enjoy ourselves. The ride up was absolutely great up through West Virginia, um, on up into Ohio and then coming back, uh, not as great. It was raining and there was a whole lot more traffic the way that we came back. But as I said, we took care of some other stuff while we were up there. And uh, so everything's been taken care of in Ohio. So more than likely the next time I go to Ohio, I'm going to have a trailer full. It's going to be a huge, huge trailer. Uh, I, I got that trailer from Scrapping with Grandpa. If you don't know him, go see him. Uh, check them out, but when I get that trailer full, I will haul it up there to unload So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed hope this was helpful to some of y'all to see some idea of you know What you can make uh, doing e-waste and stuff um, I'm gonna punch my son in the face if he keeps on back there um, But other than that um, If y'all have any questions or if I can help you with anything just reach out to me. Let me know y'all have a good one